Chris Gotts and I'm a corporate finance partner in our Edinburgh office. All three cities have got very different cultures and are diverse in their own way. Aberdeen has long been reliant on the oil and gas industry which has led to many truly global businesses setting up in that city. However, the oil and gas industry is cyclical and steps have been taken in recent years to diversify away from a single sector with initiatives such as Opportunity Northeast. Glasgow is emerging from a post-industrial phase. It's emerging through um, a process of regeneration to being a knowledge city. It's not been an easy journey, but the journey is leading to a diverse and energetic business culture, which is resilient and the home to many very successful family and owner-managed businesses. Well, Edinburgh has been the long-term home for many significant financial institutions. Um, there's a sizeable presence of the professions and a global reputation for innovation and technology has led to Edinburgh being a very desirable place to live for the, the young, the innovative, the high earners and the highly skilled workers. Each of the cities have got very different growth opportunities but all need to be looking to the future in terms of where they go next. In Aberdeen, oil and gas will continue to be a major source of growth. We're coming out of a dip and look like we're going back into a growth cycle. But the strength of oil and gas has masked many other successful sectors such as food and drink, technology and life sciences and tourism and steps are being taken to further grow those sectors to reduce reliance on oil and gas. For Edinburgh, um, technology and fintech, um, there are many innovative institutions within Edinburgh, whether that be Edinburgh University, the home of a huge number of spin-outs in the technology field, the universities, the hospitals which access R&D grant funding money, to incubation centres, all supported by a very active network of business angel and other forms of investment. Glasgow, equally fintech and technology, but historically has been very strong in retail, supported by a large population. Um, the high street has its challenges, but to date Glasgow has shown resilience in, in that sector. For our core sectors to continue to grow, we need to ensure we have the skills to support those sectors and that's going to require each city to be an attractive place to live and work to the younger, innovator generation. Remote working is here to stay. It will, I think, ultimately require less office space, people choosing to work when they want and from where they want. But ultimately, employers should not underestimate the value of human interaction and collaboration in the provision of best service.